Hi, I'm Victor. Hi, I'm Ching. A few moments later Today, my team will be doing our group assignment using uh, our um, TP-Link router model which is the world's number one provider of VLAN products as well as uh, supported by Unify The model we'll be using is Archer C1200 It is a model that provides uh, 1200 MB per second wireless speed, uh, three external antennas for stable wireless connections and optimal coverage, as well as versatile USB sharing for storage and printer sharing, FTP server, and media server. Okay, so the TP Link's Azure C1200 uh, comes with the next generation Wi Fi standard. 802.11 AC backward compatible with 802 and 802.11 and devices three times faster than wireless and speeds and delivers a combined wireless data transfer rate of up to 1.2 giga, gigabytes per second with 300 MB per second uh, wireless speeds over the 2.4 GHz band and 867 MB per second over the crystal clear 5 GHz band. The Azure C1200 is the superior choice for seamless HD streaming, online gaming and other bandwidth intensive tasks. Package, um, these are the package contents. So it includes a power adapter, the AC1200 wireless dual band gigabyte router, as well as a RJ45 ether, Ethernet cable. Okay, so power adapter is very standard, as well as the Ethernet cable. So I will be explaining about the router. So router comes with four gigabyte internal internet uh, ports, an internet port obviously, one USB port, uh, the reset button, on off power button, as well as the power port, and a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi switch. So after my group and I have finally done research on building a home network, we will now proceed to our group assignment for Network of Fundamental. Before that, as you can see, we have already connected to the router so that we can configure the settings. I will now log in. Password to a stronger password 
A stronger password consists of uppercase letter, lowercase letter and symbols. So this is considered as a strong password. I will see and do the same for 5 gigahertz. the connection with two end users using my laptop and another guy. So I'm adapting the password that I've just recently changed. As you can see this is the new password. And it's connected. Now let's go to the second use. I'm taking the same password. So that's all for my part. I will pass it to my teammate. Okay, that's my part now. I'm going to do C and D. Channel setting can be SSID broadcast. So, for channel setting, let me check the channel for 2 gigahertz. It's on auto and 5 gigahertz. It's also on auto. I will check the current use channel in environment. To do this, we have to use another software. So. Network via other end user. As you can see here, there is no IP one or one, and it's proof. Now I will try to connect the other end user manually to the router. So, yeah, open network. Sharing center set up manually. It's IT one o one personal password A one B two C three. Yeah, it's 
successfully edit so let me prove you id101 is connected okay that's all for my part i will hand over to my teammates so right now i will start doing my parts e my address filtering so firstly went to the security Access control, turn the access mode to the whitelist and press save. So I will add three end device in in this into the whitelist. to the whitelist so I will turn on the access control press save so as you can see the first device is connected to the router Let's try another device to connect. As you can see, the second device is connected as well. So let's try the third device. So as you can see the third device is connected as well. So let's try the port device.
as you can see the fault device is not connected because we didn't add it we didn't add is my address to the router. Now I will do part F DHCP. First I will turn off the assist control then set it. Then go to network then change the IP address to 172.20.1 Submit must change to 255.255.0.0 then set it. Now I will limit the IP proof for add user only. Yes. Open the command prompt, then type ipconfig, then found the wireless LAN adapter Y5. As you can see, the IPv4 address is still within in the limit pro. Now I will go to another end device. And also open the command prompt. Then type ipconfig. Then wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. As you can see, the IPv4 address also still in the limit pool. Now I will open the command prompt. Type ipconfig wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. As you can see, the IPv4 address is still within in the limit pool. Then wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi. As you can see, the IPv4 address is still within in the limit port. Okay, now I will be doing part G, wired networking. IP of the laptop, I will ping uh, after I connect the Cat5 cable. So okay. now I will use a Cat5 cable that had been given to me before uh, before this to connect one more end user to the router. So now I'll prove the IP configuration for this computer. As you can see, the uh, IP address is still within the limit pool. And now I will try to ping the user IP address that I just showed. As you can see, uh, I, uh, I am able to ping the other user and this proves uh, my connection with other users on the network.